Now let us discuss about the potential energy of a recharge system. This charge configuration here also, this charge configuration can be brought in three steps. That is first to bring the charge Q1, then bring the charge Q2, then bring charge Q3. And then add all the work done, we will get the total work. And that work will be the potential. That is our procedure. So first bring the charge Q1 to the point A. I am drawing the same figure in here in different steps. That is bringing the charge Q1 to the point A. That is our step 1. Bring Q1 to A. In that case, you don't have to do any work because there is no external charge or there is no charge near Q1 and there is no field in this region, external field in this region. So the work done W1 will be 0. Now, keeping the charge Q1 fixed, we have to bring the charge Q2. That is our step 2. Step 2. Bring Q2 to the point B. Now, remember, if you bring the charge Q2 to the point B, you don't have to disturb Q1. Okay. So, uh, at the point B, remember, if you have to bring the charge Q2 to the point B, you have to confront the charge Q1 because Q1 provide a field at the point B. So, the we have potential that is electric potential at B represented by VB due to Q1 will be we have the expression 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 divided by this distance is equal to R12 R12 okay this is the electric potential provided by the charge Q1 at the point B we already have derived this expression if you have any doubt you can always go back and check the video on the topic electric potential due to a charge. Now the work done W2 let's say we are bringing the charge Q2 to the point B where there is a potential due to Q1 and work done will be potential into potential work is always potential times charge Q2. The charge brought is Q2 so times Q2 that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 this is equal to Q1 by R12 into Q2. So W2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 Q2 divided by R12. Now for our third step, let's write it in here. Step 3. Step 3, the bring the charge the third charge Q3 to the point C. Q3 to the point C. That is bring Q3 to the point C. Now in order to bring the charge Q2, Q3 to the point C, we have to confront both these charges Q1 and Q2. Remember all the charges are brought from infinity. Okay. Always remember that fact because every charge is brought from infinity. Then only we have we can find the potential energy. So this Q3 is brought from infinity to the point C. This Q3 has to confront Q1 and Q2. So the potential at C, the total potential at C will be potential at C due to Q1 plus potential at C due to Q2. Okay these two potentials and we have this distance is equal to we take that as R13 and this distance is equal to R that is this one this distance is equal to R13 so Vc potential at C will be you can write this as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 divided by Q1 divided by R13 plus let me erase this plus 
वन बाई फोर बाई एफ सी वन सीरो क्यू टू डिवाइडेड बाई आर टू थ्री ओके सो दिस इज द टोटल पोटेंशियल एट सी नाउ वी हैव द थर्ड वर्क डब्ल्यू थ्री डब्ल्यू थ्री बी बी वी हैव वर्क इज इक्वल टू पोटेंशियल इन टू चार्ज चार्ज प्रोट हियर इज क्यू थ्री सो दिस इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर बाई एफ सी वन सीरो Q1 by R13 plus 1 by 4 by epsilon 0. Q2 divided by R23 into times Q3. Clear. And this can be simplified as we write it here. W3 will be. One by four by epsilon zero. You can multiply here. Q one, Q three by R one three plus one by four by epsilon zero. Q two, Q three divided by R two three. Now we can add all the all the uh, work done in different steps. So the total work. These are the three works done in order to bring this configuration. So the total work. Let's say. Total work. W will be W one plus W two plus W three. Adding this, you will get zero plus one by W two will be one by four pi epsilon zero Q one Q two divided by R one two plus W three is equal to one by four pi epsilon zero Q one Q three divided by R one three plus one by four pi epsilon zero Q two Q three divided by let me erase this divided by R two three and you can simplify this as you can take the one by four pi epsilon zero the outside the bracket. Which is it? And Q one Q two divided by R one two plus Q one Q three divided by R one three plus Q two Q three divided by R two. So this is the total work done to bring this configuration. So this total work done is stored as potential energy. So you can erase the work and. Write it as potential energy. Work is always done as work done to bring a configuration is stored as potential energy. So U potential energy U will be one by four pi epsilon zero Q one Q two by R one two plus Q one Q three by R one three plus Q two Q three by R two three. This is the potential energy of this system. Clear. Okay.